Hello everyone, so after many requests on installing Nemesis 1 ROM, I'm going to show in this video how to do it. Now please note that I won't be installing the Nemesis 1 kernel, but just the ROM. I seem to have boot loop problems with this, it may be because of my baseband. So if you want to install the Nemesis kernel, be sure to have the DXLF1 stock ROM. I really can't be bothered to flush it now, so I'm just going to show the procedure without installing the kernel. But if you are planning on installing the kernel and have that baseband version, be sure to install the, the stock kernel first and then install the the Nemesis 1 kernel and finally the ROM. You shouldn't have any problems I guess. But like I said, I'm going to install only the ROM now. So power off the phone and boot into recovery mode. Be sure to have downloaded from the link in the video description the CWM by Matt team the Nemesis 1 ROM installer. And if you are planning on installing the kernel, be sure to download the Wi-Fi driver fix. So, like I said now, boot into recovery mode by holding the 3-button combination and flash the CWM zip file to go into Pokemon mode recovery. Choose apply update from SD card, locate the CWM zip file by my team, here it is. Choose that and we are in Qualcomm mode recovery. Now first thing we are going to do is we are going to wipe there just to be clean to remove any left leftovers from the previous ROM then wipe cache partition like this and before we proceed into the installer go to mounts and storage and be sure to have everything mounted including SD card cache data system mount data too so that everything will look like this unmount instead of mount. Now go back and choose install zip from SD card. Find the Nemesis 1 zip which you just downloaded here. Choose yes. And now you'll be taken into the Aroma installer. This should be as easy as installing uh, software on a Windows computer. We have an interface with touch navigation which is very easy. And so the first step is you need to agree to the uh, terms and agreements here. Then next, next, again next. And uh, first install a stock kernel. Choose next. Do not choose the reboot option here. Choose next. Wait for the kernel to be installed. Then choose next again. And then finish. Now go back. Go back to mounts and storage and make sure that everything is mounted in here. So mount system again if it isn't and everything else. Go back. Again install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Locate the Nemesis 1 zip file again. And like I said I'm going to skip the step of installing the Nemesis kernel. I'm directly going to install the ROM which shouldn't be a problem really. So just choose next. Choose the I agree. Again next. Next. And choose the Nemesis 1 ROM. This is the kernel here and this is the ROM. So choose that. Choose next. And yeah, you may enable this time reboot the device after installation. Choose next again and the installation will begin. I'll be back once the installation is complete. And the installation is complete. Choose next. And since we chose the reboot option, we have a reboot now here. So just choose that and wait for the phone to boot up. As usual, the first boot takes a while, a minute or two. So just be patient and wait for the phone to start up completely. It has a very cool boot animation as you can see with a nice sound. Well done developers. And okay so I'll be back once the phone boots up completely when we are on the launcher screen because it will take at least a minute now here and I don't want to make this video very long so I'll, I'll be back in a bit. And the phone finally booted up so you have an option of three launchers, three different launchers, two of them are named Nemesis Launcher and the one is the default Samsung TouchWiz which is a bit modified with the jelly bean, with the ice cream sandwich icons and so yeah, so let's begin with checking out with the first one. This is what we have here, we have a guide here at the beginning, so just choose that, sorry, I misclicked. 
okay and here we are at the home screen we got the stairs bar here you may be wondering where the icons are just press this button here and everything should appear see we got a lot of icons here you can turn on and off things for quick access which is pretty neat so anyways we just choose the first launcher as you can see here we have the app drawer and we have the widget drawer here as well pretty cool as you can see we got the weather the animal clock the apollo music player and all that and other different miscellaneous things and next let's check out the second launcher here this one looks a bit more different you are given instructions in the beginning on how to use it and what to do what it contains so yeah this this is it this is the screen here this is what it looks like we've got apps widgets and we got extra here and we also have a search button pretty cool let's have a quick look at the extras here this is what we have here and this is what we have in widgets this is the app drawer we got the page indicator at the bottom here and finally we've got the samsung touch with launcher modified with the ice cream sandwich icons as you can see from here a few things modified here and there this is the same old touch with launcher Now let's have a quick look if this has any added custom wallpapers or anything of the sort. Let's go to wallpapers. Yep, it has customized wallpapers. This is what we've got here. You can choose from different wallpapers. be a very customizable launcher so a quick look at a few of the things here it uses Apollo music player as you can see this is the music player right here let's just try out to play a song this is what we've got So let's have a quick preview at the apps which it has, like I said Apollo Music, it has Clean File Manager instead of the My Files app which we all see in the file stock rooms. I'm guessing this is more advanced although I haven't used it, but it, it probably is. Um, it has the Jelly Bean keyboard, it has additional options here and tweaks which you can uh, edit. The phone, this ROM comes pre-rooted, you can modify the battery options for the status bar the clock like the cover of the letters and all that the signal options and all that so yeah this is what the browser looks like the default browser is modified you see you can see the address bar is black here and everything and we've got the same old gallery style here which you see in the stock room this is the modified dialing the it style it's what it looks like as you can see here yep it comes with cedar as you can see the popular app which people say that it speeds up your phone it has nemesis sound booster which is familiar which looks like dsp manager options here you can modify the options for the phone speaker, the headset and everything. You've got no through CPU here. Um, this is what the messaging looks like as you can see here. And this is a really cool feature. We've got the speak here, which you've probably seen in a few po more popular devices, just the Nexus and all that. So basically you ask a question and it answers accurately for example let's do a little test here i'm going to press on the microphone here and i'm going to ask 
a question and it will google search the information and it will give me an accurate answer so let's do a little test here who is the current president of the united states There we go. As you can see, it answered my question. This is very cool. Quite cool feature to have. And let's have a quick look at the settings menu. We have quick toggles here for the Wi Fi, which takes us here to the Wi Fi screen. You can turn it off. We've got for the Bluetooth, and there is one for mobile data. Turn it on and off. For more, we go to the advanced options to each of these here for the Wi-Fi, for the Bluetooth, and the mobile data. Um, another good cool thing is you can change the settings layout. For example, you can change it to Jelly Bean, which is what we currently have. You can also change it to Paranoid, like this. You can also change to TouchWiz 5. And the LG UI. That's what we've got here. Let's have a quick look here. We have performance settings, which has the following options. I really can't go into detail explaining each of these. I'm just showing you a quick preview of what it contains. We also got status bar options here, which we previously opened the ADT tweaks, like I mentioned for editing stuff. So yeah, there are a lot of things available which you can check out for yourself. The installation is quite easy as you can see, it works well. I have not installed their kernel because like I said, it may be incompatible with my baseband and I just always end up with a boot loop so I really can't be bothered to flash a different stock here, stock ROM and all that so yeah you can check it out this ROM you can find it down in the video description and feel free to leave opinions and feedback on uh, how, how long you have used it and what you think of the ROM it will really help out the other the rest of the users thank you for watching and goodbye